Hi, welcome to Expendable Plus Inc. I'm Jolaine. This is Marie. Hi. And we're here for another episode of Wine Wednesdays and today's topic is dating etiquette and tips. So we're here today to ask and to give tips about first dates. That way it'll help to give you a better understanding of someone. So I'll be asking Marie a few questions and explaining how it helps with understanding a person on a date. And this actually can help with the conversation and keeping it going back and forth. If you could hop on a plane right now, where would you go? So this is actually a great question because who doesn't love to travel? It's definitely a good indicator of whether or not they have ambitions, desires, or if there's a lack of that. I would go somewhere warm, close, just like a plane right away. Somewhere exotic. Yeah. I would say the Caribbean would be nice. Yeah, the Caribbean, definitely somewhere like Mexico. Even if you went to Florida, it would be nice. As long as it's warm, sure. Yeah. Beach and drinks, <laughs> I'm there, <laughs> right? That's where we're gonna go. <laughs> What is your dream job? This question is a little tricky to ask. However, it's really, really informative to be able to understand where the person is going with their future finances because some of us actually are going that way, right. I believe. So Am it I helps correct? you to understand whether or not you guys are on the same path, if you're in the same, you know, playing field or if it's out of the ballpark. It's called for you. equality. Right. <laughs> right? Um, a motivational speaker. All right, yes. so it's like a life coach type of deal? Uh, yes, because I like to listen to them because they help you sometimes, you know, understand a little more better about yourself. So I would love to give that back. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely great to be able to exude that to someone else and be of an encouragement because that actually helps you on your path as well. Because the bridge that you give to others is actually a bridge you give to yourself. As we learn, we help somebody else learn about yes. themselves. So I think that my dream job would probably be working somewhere in film like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're doing. So you're right on your path. All right, That's and you're helping you. me. <laughs> Who has been the most influential person in your life? So this question is really great because it really helps you with understanding their family dynamic and the close relationships that they have and who it is that they surround themselves with. I have two, which are my children, they're young adults, and to watch them grow up and become the yeah. people that they are right now, it's it's amazing. So I get to learn a lot from them. I would say the most influential person in my life is actually my aunts, my uncles, and my parents. Um, so family. definitely, yeah, family, yes. because they're the closest people to us, and so they've had the most influence in our life from our very beginning. Yeah. And so the same with you and your children, you've had the influence in their life. Since family the gets to mold you, and you get to learn from them, and you become right. the type person that you become because you get so influenced right by traditions and some and some of the things that they help to teach us is actually some of the first lessons that we have for yeah. life always so family definitely if you were stranded on an island and could take only three items with you what would you take this question is really important because you catch them off guard right the rapid answers would give you a little bit more insight of what's really valuable to them I got so much to take, oh my god. <laughs> okay, LB, a pair of hiking boots. Okay. A book. Right. And a dog. Your dog? Yeah. Okay, so that sounds very castaway. <laughs> <laughs> Wilson, Wilson, <Okay>. Big company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I would probably bring my dog, I would bring a couple of books, and I would probably bring my phone so I can take pictures, because what would a vacation like an island be without your phone? But I would probably want my phone to not have internet. And if, unfortunately, you seem to like perish in the island, at least they'll find your photos. That's true. Right? <laughs> right? What do you wish that you were better at? So this is a really great question because it actually helps to illuminate what kind of skills this person has, whether or not they're humble, or if there's someone who can be egotistical. Yeah. Um, and so it definitely helps you with understanding whether or not they're looking to improve themselves. Or even if they're not looking to improve themselves, it's called assertiveness. Right. They're assertive of what they have, or also if they're looking to improve something, you're looking at their future. Um, photography. Photography, okay. I love photography one. and yet I'm not good at it. <laughs> okay. So. I mean, I think that I would want to be better at engaging people. Definitely, I love to speak with people, but sometimes I think I get a little, like, shy. Socializing is very important. Yeah, so I definitely want to be better at not always being so well, you're shy. you're doing great. We're here. We're here. Socializing <laughs> for everybody. We're doing what we can. <laughs> 
What's the worst pickup line you have heard? This is a really, really imp important question because you're going to learn a little more about whether they have a sense of humor or have they asked this question, so how they go about going on dates. Right, so it definitely also helps to give a little banter and see whether yeah. or not you guys are on the same playing field when it comes to humor. I have quite a few, but I'm going to stick to the one that just happened to uh, be ran by me the other day, and it was like, let's start a fire. Oh, so gosh. I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> I was like, okay, so yeah, moving along. Uh, How about yours? So I think the age old one is, girl, are you tired? Cause you've been running through my mind all day. Like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I think I kind of, sometimes I'm a sucker for corny, cheesy pickup lines, but whatever. <laughs> no, no. But it's definitely the worst. <laughs> They're fun though, cause they, you get to laugh about it. Yeah, you can. That'll be a wrap for another episode of Wine Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching and thank you also Marie for You're having welcome. me. And so don't forget to hit like, subscribe, share, but also leave us a comment. And stay tuned for next week's episode of Wine Wednesday. And do not forget to have some wine with your dates. Of course. Cheers. Bye.